ever since I was a kid, I always dreamed, I mean, as everyone did, just of, you know, the Narnia effect, going through the, the wardrobe into this magical land. Initially, the web was about uh, a piece of text or maybe some story that was told with pictures, um, but that's all changing. And so for us, in these programs are at the cutting edge of how you are telling stories, and, and it pushes the technology. It's a place for us to put artists in resource-rich environments, especially when it's, you know, technology that nobody has access to yet. They actually are in this great reciprocity with the technologists where the artists have this big vision, and then the technologists really engineer into helping that artist's vision come into an experience for audience. So you're thinking both about what those stories are, but also what we need to be able to do so that, you know, first, some of the innovators are really doing it, and then, everybody in the world can actually tell their stories. I guess what attracted me to experience creation in VR was me being a little kid dreaming of having some kind of technology where I could go into another world and have it feel believable. Once that was achieved, like then you could mess around with expectations or storytelling. So I made stuff in text and I just couldn't quite tell the story I wanted to tell. And then I tried to make it with documentary film and I still couldn't tell the story I wanted to tell. I wanted you to be there feel the whole story with your whole body and not just with your mind. And I think that once I discovered virtual reality as a place to do that, it was transformative. I think we're going to be really pleasantly surprised at what this festival looks like in 15, 20 years, even five years from now. It's, it's exciting. I think artists and technologists have this imperative to create. There is something that doesn't exist in the world and we want to see it there. You have it in your head and now you make it real.